All right, it's time to take that tour of my truck. It's 2016 Dodge Ram ProMaster 2500. Got an ostensible buddy of mine did the work for me. Here's the back side of it. Oh, zoom out, you can see it. Oh. Zoom out for you can see it a little bit. Bam, bam. Here's the side. I mean, nice truck, man. I mean, everything I wanted out of the truck, I could stand up in it. Plenty of room. This was my gold truck. I got my 1998 box truck to start off with, but this was my gold truck. Let's get this look inside this thing. This is my gold truck. This is my baby. Yeah. Ah. All right, sun shine for me, shine for me. Let's get the other side now. All right, let's get this sliding door here open up. Lock it on back. As you can see, a lot of room, man. Those are my babies. I told you I like that backpack so much I got a second one, man. Uh, all right, let's get in this thing, get to it. My gauge, I got my field pieces on the wall right there. I got built behind the seat. I got a vac when I'm doing installs, clean up the dirt or whatever. Make clean up the mess, you know, it's rechargeable. Quick, instead of doing a broom, clean it up real fast. I hate to ask the hormones for this, personal stuff. Backup gauges, in case my batteries, anything, that malfunction, but, psh, or I don't like to do my, I don't like to put the vacuum or different refrigerants. I don't like to mix it with that stuff I'm not sure about. So I use those on those in that case. Um, that is a pump, condensation pump. Trade Pro, I don't have no problem with these backup motors. A little universal motors, pop in, pop out. Condenser, evaporator motors. Keep my big cons construction bags there. I got me one of those motors, those boards. When I'm doing those, it's what? In case I swap one of those out with an ECM, put a PCM. When I got motors under warranty or anything like that, I made a video of these boards, quick quick swap boards. They're pretty good to have just to, you know, with, when you have a warranty or whatever, you don't have to do no wiring, just pop that thing in. When a new motor come in, pop it back out. Clean, you know, save a lot of work. You know, mastic. Core cleaner, the green kind. I got me some conduit back there. It's all my copper piping, my hoses on the top with my rope on the bottom. Pull my pull my bucket on the roof or whatever. Um, got some drain pan switches. Caulk when I'm doing installs. Zip ties. Tie downs, caps, lock caps, you gotta have these on. Fuses, breakers, tape. Got all kind of bits, drill bits, cutout bits with mini splits, Zozo, blades, everything I need. Every all types of blades and stuff in there, my wiring. Thermostat wire, all copper fittings, all conduit pieces there. Got my capacitors, contactors, all that in those box, all geoed, all in one. Little lure sitting up there, you know. Took my poles out, they used to be in here, scrapped up there. Got my Malco. Duck building, fast groove, V split for the lock in. I got my swedger, my bender, leak detector, all kind of bits and screws, everything in there. Got all my DeWalt, my sawzall, my grinding wheel, cut wheel, backup impact, drill. 
this my baby here for my for my wheel take from the takeoff wheel my that's that's for the take off those goddamn stubborn fan blades man it works like it works like a champ I'd rather more power than with the low one that one zip it right off uh hey my backup to my backup you know my big boy in case the wheel get flat flat tire kept in the bottom of the road or something like that you know everybody needs something to help now and then but I like my I like to be over prepared man my SPS plus drilling those drilling out those holes for those mini splits put this back on in the bag and work on one handed vacuum pump recovery machine all the one vac got me a fan back there sitting off in the back all my PVC piping that's miscellaneous tools all in there then on the second shelf right here in the middle right here I got my that's my handy dandy turbo torch man I love that thing I put my refrigerant rack on the in the middle I know he supposed to say he supposed to have them head up whatever whatever they never sit straight up but I put me some spaces on the bottom condenser spaces to stop the rattling works pretty good man it sits good enough I like it got my condenser cleaner scale I ain't go to that skipped over that uh, I mean, this rack here was like, it's like just custom welded rack. Let me get it to the back before I can see if I can get a better look at it. Just a custom built metal rack. Nothing special. Holds the tools good. I mean, I have no problem out of it, man. I love this rack. All my floor space still here. Headroom still here. Got my ladder on the wall here. That's a 17 footer. Uh, stand it all the way out, eight foot, uh, a ladder. Pretty much get everything I need to get. Look, you see that? Three hundred. Yeah, I might have to lose two or three more pounds, but it's rated for three hundred. Um, man, I love that ladder, man. That's that's that get pretty much everything. If I need to do something commercial, I go pick mother lot from home. But pretty much that. That's why I ride around every day and it's tucked inside out of the weather. My nitrogen pump tank all outfitted up. Sitting on the corner if I can easily grab it. I say plenty of head space, man. Got me a cupboard up for extra clothes. All my extra clothes, my flay knife there, you know. Uh, got me some crocs, you know. Ah, oh, my son calling me. I taking I got taking fishing. <laughs> uh, so far as up front. Cabin, I put that Pioneer in, it's a uh, 1440 EX. Let me show you something. I ordered the piece for that thing. I'm, this might help somebody. I'm gonna take this out in case somebody's struggling. But look at those colors. One of them was missing on mine. I'm just gonna show you the colors on this side. That's what the prongs up. Cause I had to look for some colors so I can match these wires up. I know us HVAC guys can do this junk. Oh, self that are ordering this plug. I'm just gonna spin this around just in case you got a a car or a truck and you're trying to replace it without getting this plug. You can match those wires up. Most important is the power wire, which is that red over there matching up on this side. So get that, see how good you can get that, man. And pause it or whatever if you get one of these, man. Cause waiting for those plugs to put that in is a mother, man. You want to get it done right away. Uh, I mean, only complaint, it's not even a complaint with this truck. I mean, I see a lot of people say that, you know, oh, the brakes, this, brake, that. Brakes works excellent. So far as putting weight, when you got a lot of weight in it, only difference is you'll feel like, if you had an old car, like I always had old cars, 67s, uh, 68s. I was an old car fan, Chevy man. So, if you used to like ride like got that drum feeling when you hit your brakes and like got four drums instead of this when you got weight in your car that's 
kind of like what you what it feels like you just got to push a little harder but it stops it's just real smooth and it feels like it's not like that lock sensation it's like like the drums it's nothing wrong with it though it, it, it stops perfect but um I just want to do a quick video man I don't want to ramble on let me get this over with this is my truck man this is my baby got plenty of room to sleep you might want to stop by pick somebody up you know I don't know how you living but me there's enough room for me to do everything I need to do all right I'm out of here take it easy fella and this how I look with a unit in the back photon unit Plenty more space. Well, fit right on time. Five ton to fit in here too with that little bit of room. No problem. Air handle up front. Still got more room to go. Still got more room to go. I could easily put another air handle or whatever. Plenty of room.